Hey guys, what's up? I'm Patrick from Alpinize Freestyle and today I'm recording this video for you in the T-Blade headquarters together with Andre Fischer, sales manager from T-Blade and in my latest Instagram story I asked you before your questions about T-Blade and today we're going to answer them. I'm starting with a question from Vincent ICD. Is it normal that in the middle of the holder 2-4 mm Abstand to the shoe sind, or is that a production failure? Which means, is it normal that there is a gap of 2-4 mm between the holder of T-Blade and the boot or is this a construction error? So I can answer that. Of course there is a gap because the T-Blade system is built, the holder is built for all kinds of shoes and the T-Blade system is connected over its full length with the boot while the TUC system here has a gap in the middle and so this fits perfect because it just has two point uh, while the T-Blade system has to fit everywhere so a gap at this part here is absolutely normal, normal and it doesn't affect the stability of the holder of the skate at all. Was it right? Yeah. Hopefully the question is answered. Then, das Faultier 75, sind T-Blade Kufen weniger stabil als normale? So, um, are, is the T-Blade system easier to break than a regular blade system? Um, the regular blade system just contains two parts, the holder and the runner and this mechanism to exchange the blade if you want. So this is just basically three pieces. The T-Blade system is made out of 15 to 20 pieces with all the screws and stabilizer and runners and everything. So of course there is more room for errors, more pieces that can break. But I have 100 kilos, I used the T-Blade system for years now and I had one small mistake in a runner and that's it. So can it easier break? This is not that easy to answer. But, and that's the reason why I have this guy here, T-Blade guarantees and provides his quality. So if you're not doing anything stupid with the T-Blade system and it has a mistake, it has an error, then get in touch with this guy. I will link his private, not his private, his personal email address below and you can get in touch with them. And if T-Blades had an error, then they will replace it for free or give you discounts on your replacement. Novalty official. Any way to get cheaper shipping on runners to the USA? Yeah, we are not that responsible for the shipping prices to the USA. What I can recommend you is to buy higher numbers of runners so you have to pay the shipping just once for a bigger amount of blades. Probably you can buy runners or anything together because with 200 or 300 dollars, 300 dollars shipping is for free so if you buy T-Blade stuff together with your friends. Starting from $300, the shipping is for free. Otherwise, buy a little bit more and you have to pay the shipment just once for the runners and don't buy runners single. Next questions. HRV Gavi, bekomme ich bitte ein paar T-Blades? Which means, can I please get some T-Blades? Yeah, of course you can get them. Just go to the T-Blade online store and buy them. You can get as much as you want. Everybody can get them. <laughs> yeah, basically that's it. I, I know what you mean, but you know what I mean. Charles Darwin, greetings to Dresden, Zwickau. I met this guy. How did the owner of T-Blade came up with the design? Well, what, what do we have here? Came up with the design of the holder with the holes and anything. So how do we explain that? How was the idea? I think the idea was um, to become more stiffness uh, with uh, less weight. More stiffness with less weight. Less weight, uh, and, and I think that's the reason why I built it with this, with the holes. With the holes. So yeah, I I think it was my theory, but probably the same theory that those connecting points all have uh, those pieces connect between the holder and the skate. Here you just have two of them, which makes the whole thing heavier. So I guess it's just something between design and stability, design of where the rivets and the runner and the screws are connected. So I guess mixture between design, lightweight and structure of the whole thing. Hard to explain because the founder, the guy who invented the T-Blade system is not in this company anymore, but 
Since 2000, he's not in the company. 2000, he, he, uh... he invented it, but he's not in the company for years now, but it should be something between design and construction points. I think you can explain it like this. Take the, the top and then... Yeah, it's probably it should be fair if we remove the steel part. Oh, look. See that? This looks a little bit stiffer than the tooth holder does, but if it's connected to the skate, if it's connected with the blade, then it should be similar, but just in a different design way. Anyway, it looks cool, so he did, definitely did something right. Is it possible to choose an individual chrome color for stabilizers and holders like chrome purple by direct request? I talked with Andre about this topic. Yeah, we have this blue, we have a light blue chrome version, but the thing is they are not painted here in the T-Blade store. They are painted in the factory and you have to buy it in a big number of uh, holders and stabilizers otherwise it won't pay off and small numbers and special requests it is complicated to order them in low numbers but what you can do is that you buy a holder if you want to go for a light chrome colors you can go for a matte white holder for example or also carbon if you use enough layers of color then buy it let it send to your home place and then spray paint it by yourself and every color you like as I did it with stabilizers and runners that often and then send it back to T-Blade and then they will mount it for you to your skate. So you can always customize it by yourself with spray paint however you like and then T-Blade will mount it for you. So just have to order it, get it, paint it, send it back, get it mounted. Normally this is possible by the side of T-Blade within a week or 10 days for two or three shippings. So if you want this absolute customization and color paint it yourself, you can do whatever you want, but for the company, it's a little bit complicated by ordering small numbers of special colors. They will never get sold. Schön beantwortet, oder? Sehr gut. Next question. Oscar A. Cole. Are T-Blades worth getting over or just keeping my new blade? Do they make such a big difference? Okay, difference. Of course, they make a big difference. The feeling you have in T-Blades is absolutely unique. The sound is unique. They bring so much fun. So in my eyes, it's definitely worth changing. I also was a little bit skeptical when I changed, but the fun was great. So if it is worth changing to T-Blades, it always depends on you and your personal opinion. But I think you should try T-Blade at least once in your life. And the most people I met that changed to T-Blade absolutely loved it. and the smallest, the absolutely smallest number of people change back to the tube system. So this definitely speaks for the T-Blade system. By the way, T-Blade once gave you the possibility for a small deposit, I guess like 50 bucks or so, that you can rent skates. So you get test skates from T-Blade, test them for a few weeks and then send them back and then you get your deposit back. And as I heard, T-Blade wants to do that this season again. Yes, we do it with the Bauer Skates, Bauer XLS. Uh, write an email to fisher at tblade.com and then we write and then we send you a skate. You can test it and then send it back and hopefully you buy a T-Blade. <laughs> hopefully you like the T-Blade system. Yeah, so this is the perfect chance if you ever wanted to try a T-Blade, then just get in touch with this guy, fisher at tblade.com. Email address is written below and you can test the T-Blade system on a pretty basic but still cool skate so this gives you all opportunities you need to get in touch with T-Blade. Then damn crow machen T-Blades das Eis kaputt. Do T-Blades destroy the ice? Yeah there's some stupid ice ring stuff people that say you can't skate here with T-Blade you're destroying the ice. T-Blade is not destroying the ice. Bad skaters destroy the ice. Some good skaters destroy it on purpose, but bad skaters destroy the ice because they're leaning too far back and too far in the front when they do sharp turns. You can do every sharp turn without crashing the ice too much. Okay, accidents happen, but this definitely has nothing to do with the T-Blade system or not. This is just because um, some ice guards get nervous when they hear this aggressive cracking sound of the T-Blade system. But T-Blade don't destroy the ice. That's completely Ah, if we have the next question, Hans Mike, why do T-Blades make such a nice sound on the ice opposed to normal blades? Okay, don't want to get too much into physics with that, but those normal blades are solid. So 
solid metal and solid metal is not making that much of a noise than just metal on a plastic dust. So what you hear cracking is this uh, piece of steel and the plastic moving on the ice and this gives a very high frequency of sounds which makes this T-blade sound while here because of the solid metal strip this part is not moving and the sound is not that loud. So the noise basically just comes from the plastic part over the metal strip here. Am I correct? Yes. I hope so. Next one. Gibt es speziell Rabatt für Leute, die viel kaufen? So, is there any possibility for discounts for people that buy a lot of T-Blade stuff? At the moment, no. But T-Blade always on Instagram has some specials where they, for example, if you buy a new skate, you get a skate bag. Or, for example, if I have my discount codes in my videos, you can also save, so wait for a discount code. Mostly all my videos with T-Blade topics have discount codes in them, so if you subscribe to my channel, if you stay up to date with my channel, then you can save money with my discount codes. And if you follow T-Blade on Instagram, they always have some specials. We planned a Christmas special for this year, for example. Let's see if we realize it. Probably we'll give away a free T-Blade skate, whatever you want from the T-Blade online store. Uh, store. We will see, but for discounts, yeah, if we're talking about discount code, should we put a discount code into the video? Okay. Okay? 15? 20? 20. 20? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay, then with my code Alpine Ice Freestyle 20, as always, it's written below. You can save 20% on your next order on the T Blade online store till Sunday midnight. So if you want to save some money because you're ordering a lot of stuff, order it now or miss the chance. How often do you change blades? Question from Finn with 07. I use three to four pairs of runners per season. If I would skate more, I would use more. If I would skate daily, probably it would be once a month. It's hard to tell, it depends on the ice quality, your style of skating, what kind of blades you use. But I would say if you're skating heavily, then once a month should be a good average number. Francis Corocha, however you spell it. Ah, T-blade blades, or is the T-blade system better than standard hockey blades? As we said before, that's something you have to figure out. In my personal opinion, of course, yes. I can't say anything else when this guy is sitting next to me. Um, in my personal opinion, yes, for freestyle, they feel so much better. They're so much more aggressive and precise, and I really love the feeling. But you have to find it out by yourself. And if t is doing this special with rental skates or test skates that you can order, then you can find it out by yourself. Personal opinion, yes. All right, next question. P-X-N-X-L-I-X. <laughs> Bringen Sie bald was Neues raus. So are there anything, or is there anything coming new from T-Blade? Yes, of course, as I said, the possibility to get test skates will be new again. T-Blade will bring some new skate models. What is planned new skate models? We have two Supreme skates and one graph skate. One graph skate. Yeah, as he told me before, there will be a new graph skate because T-Blade is running out of graph skates at the moment and the Bauer Supreme line will be new. I guess we had S35, S37, so it will be S45, S47? Yeah, it's uh, M3 and M4. But it's based on the Supreme line? Yes. Okay, so... A BMW M3. Yeah, ah, ah, <laughs> okay, okay. So T-Blade will have a new Bauer skate based on the Supreme line. So for everybody who loves the Supreme line, I love the Supreme line perfectly for my foot. Those skates will be new. New by the T-Blade company itself. There will always be some new colors, probably new shapes of runners, S S6. People ask for S6. No, not at the moment. Not at the moment. It's planned, it's in mind, but the developing... Developing is not as easy as some people think. It's not just sharpening the thing sharper you or do a bigger radius. It's also about the machine that makes those strips, which is back there. I'll put in some B-roll of the machine. It's just working between 21 and 9. So the developing of a S6, what some people asked me before, is not that easy. It is in mind. We will see. 
what happens. So new T-Blade products, they will always be announced on the T-Blade side. But of course, there will be some new skates this season, at least three, probably four, five. Let's I see. CCM. CCM. I heard CCM. something about CCM. Check out my uh, skate review playlist for all the skates I tested so far. And of course, when T-Blade brings out a new skate, a new T-Blade version of a skate, then you will see the review on my channel. By the way, new skates. If you want to have a special skate that is not available at the T-Blade online store, for example, a true skate or a high-end model of Graph or Bauer or anything, get in touch with this guy, fisher at tblade.com via email and ask for the skate. If he can order the skate somewhere for you, then he can build the T-Blade system under it. So what is in stock at the T-Blade online store is just the skates that T-Blade really sells a lot. But if you want to have a special skate, just ask this guy. Nine of 10 cases, he will be able to develop every skate you want or to build every skate you want with a T-Blade system. Just saying. Dann Sultmax kommen bald neue Schuhe in den Online-Shop, also neue Modelle zum Beispiel von Bauer. So are there new skates coming to the online shop? I guess we covered the answer already. Then Charles Darwin again. What did the first T-Blade prototype look like? Uh, unfortunately, we have or we don't have the first prototype here because the developer of the first prototype is not in the company anymore. What you mean is probably those speed flame models. If I have a photo, I will put it in right now. But we had a pretty old skate. Where do we have him? Uh, it's still in the office. In the office. So he goes to the office. Mm. Then the next question from Josh FIDS. Can get a T-Blade discount code. T-Blade discount code is already in the video. Alpine IS Freestyle 20 saves you 20% on every order at the T-Blade online store till Sunday midnight. And now we are waiting for a pretty old T-Blade skate to end this video up for the day. This is the oldest skate we could find here in the office. What do we have here? <laughs> well, this is... I think oh, it's 15 years old. 15 years old, it's, it's heavy. So this is back from a time when T-Blade made their own skate models. What happened? Why is T-Blade not building their own skates anymore? They had their own T-Blade T something and then they had the Graph T-Blade models. But why is T-Blade not building their own skates anymore? Uh, I think we get not the quality we want from China for the skates. That's the, the main reason. So the quality was not that like good. Own models, also the, the last owner of T-Blade made own skates and uh, that's, that's, this was no funny for us. Yeah. But there were the Graph Pro Freestyler skate, which is now nearly completely sold and the standard Freestyler skate, it, it sold pretty well. Yeah, but it's a very heavy skate. A heavy skate yeah it's graph but probably you build something together with graph probably this can happen again or bauer makes also pretty solid skate and this xls for example is pretty lightweight probably you can build a t-blade logo on this skate in the future something like that we will see i, I don't think so at the moment but yeah the questions after T-Blade's own skates were never that big in the last years. As I noticed, it probably in the future it makes sense. But at the moment, everybody wants to have those models that are plenty in stock at T-Blade and those own productions. Yeah, always a complicated thing. So I hope I answered all your questions. If you like this video or if you have more questions, that's the first point. If you have more questions, write them down in the comments. I will answer them or T-Blade. We'll answer them if you want. We can make another Q&A if we get plenty of questions under this video. Otherwise, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked this small look behind the scenes of T-Blade together with the sales manager. And that's it with this video. That's it for the day, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up for the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Very important if you want to get more information and codes. Feel free to check out my Instagram. Feel free to check out T-Blade's Instagram. Don't miss this discount code just till Sunday. That's it for the day, guys. Andre, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. See ya. Bye.